okay, I don't know if that last one was filming any good. I think I had the orientation wrong on the camera. I'm trying to just show a quick little tip here on some of the things I use for sanding around windows. Now, ideally, um, you have a multi-tool that has this kind of a pad on there. I've got mine, but I have a problem with the sandpaper sticking to the pad. And I gave up on trying to get it to work years ago. But now that Amazon's around, I might be able to find a new pad that I can use on there that works. That's a brand new Airbauer, and I don't know if I've tested that. I think I tested everything I had this morning, and they all kept the sandpaper pad just kept falling off, so I gave up on it. Then I've got the Ryobi 18 volter. Now this is good up to that line, sort of along there. You, you don't want to get it up on top there very much at all because it's so shaky, and you'll be end up scratching the, gra the glass. I got the Ryobi, not Ryobi, the Dremel 4000 up here hanging on a thing. And that works pretty good, but you could also scratch the glass. But then there's a trick too, if you wanted to worry about it, you could actually pull this sleeve down so that the rubber's sticking out a little bit and you might not scratch the glass. But here's the best thing so far this morning is a razor blade, a safety blade was just, just scraping it out like this. That makes it so good. And then I'll just take a little piece of sandpaper I've got and hit it with that. And that sandpaper, you, you wear it out a little piece and then you just get some more. So, and then sanding blocks, if you get these things cheap, they work pretty good. This one's not working very good though. Then you, you, got to, you can match, is that 60? That's 60, that's the heavy duty stuff. And that works pretty good. Now I'll have to spray this again here because I've gotten a lot of spray it with the, uh, the moss killer because it's needs it this job has a it's a, it's less than three years old and the paint is just falling off so whoever built this thing they didn't paint it very well it should have lasted at least five years a brand new shed like that so here we are and that's the tip of the day then okay and i hope that makes a little bit of sense